Hey, I am so excited. Tonight, I am going to be teaching you how to book a paint party in under a week, which could sound scary if this is your first time, and also how to change your financial future with paint parties. I am going to spend some time actually breaking it down, as well as at the end, I'm gonna share with you Paint Party Headquarters because I am so, so excited. Now, um, I'm gonna share a lot about that and also answer your questions. So please stay until the end. Grab a piece of paper, some notes to take on. Whether or not you, you decide to join Paint Party Headquarters, you are going to get a ton over the next 45 minutes. I hope tonight you get a lot out of this because again, I wanna teach you because paint parties have changed my life and I know they have changed so many of y'all. So I hope you have loved this and um, let's just learn some more. Okay, so first off, profitable paint party. Turn your artistic passion into a successful paint party business. All right, so what we're gonna go over tonight is paint party possibilities, set up and breakdown, hired help, supplies, paint party highlights, marketing and social media. We're gonna go through pricing breakdown, easy steps to get started, and the success path, because I love talking to you about what stage you're in in the success path. Then at the end, just like I promised, I'm gonna do Q&A till my face falls off. All right, paint party possibilities. Canvas, wood, porch leaner, ceramics, door hangers. Y'all, you may notice a bunch of paintings and ceramics and sleds and door hangers behind me. This is because you don't have to just do canvas parties. If you notice the picture up at the top, there's a ton of porch leaners. I charge anywhere from 55 to 65 for those. Um, online in-person art kits, custom orders. We um, have adult parties, we have kids parties, we have parties at churches, community centers, restaurants, fundraisers, and so much more. There's endless. So here are some looks of just in-person paint parties that you can see that I've done in the past. So this is one avenue for paint party possibilities, in-person. So let me know in the comments if you are mainly wanting to learn in person. Then let me know if you are wanting to learn how to do online paint parties. That's another possibility that many people started learning throughout COVID, of course, but another possibility that still continues to this day, the fall ball, guess what that was? That was an online paint party. And then how many of y'all have thought about doing art kits? This is Maite, she does really beautiful art kits. And then on the left, you can see my husband and my daughter packing art kits from our living room. <laughs> so let me know which one you wanna do. Do you wanna do in-person? Do you wanna do online paint parties? Or do you wanna do art kits? Again, ceramic parties, there's door hanger parties, there's all kinds of fun stuff. Another thing that you may not have thought of are custom orders. So custom orders can happen all year long, anywhere from painting a sled for somebody, painting door hangers for a real estate company, and painting surfboards that I've done many times, but this was for somebody's pool. So there's many, many times you can do custom orders. Okay, so setup and breakdown. So on the left, you can see that's me, and then that's my daughter when she was way little. She is so adorable there. And um, she's 17 now, but she has been helping me with paint parties since she was five years old. And then on the right, my mother-in-law helping set up for a big party we had at Billy Bob's. So here's the thing. You can get people to help you that are your family, you can hire friends to help you. You can get maybe the youth group, you know, a couple of people at the youth group that are wanting to make some extra money. And I always, always recommend that you pay them. Even if they're family, you still want to pay them. Tina says, I didn't know there were so many things to do. <laughs> yes, Tina, this paint party business is just, it's an adventure. I always like to call it an adventure because you never know where it'll lead you to. All right, where to get the goods, where to get the supplies. So I saw the other day, somebody said, I have no idea how you can get a canvas for $2. Well, look, here is a five pack canvas for $12.99. Alexa, what's 13 divided by five? 13 divided by five is 2.6. So that's $2.60 for a canvas here. And if you're like me, you usually have an additional coupon or you're getting rewards with your Michaels or whatever it is. 
And sometimes you can go online and order in bulk as well and get a better deal. So I always look for the sales around the holidays and then I just load up on my canvases. And stencils, I love using essential stencil. By the way, if you write down this code, you can always get a discount. Essential stencil, if you use coupon code Texas Heidi, spelled all one word, Texas, then Heidi, H-E-I-D-I. Anytime you use essential stencil and you check out with that code, you get a percentage off. Those stencils are perfect for porch leaner designs. Anytime I do porch leaner designs, especially the welcome one or the baby it's cold outside, that one sold out so fast. And Deco Art Americana Acrylics. You know, when I first started this, I used CraftSmart. CraftSmart's like 50 cents a tube of two ounce. And let me tell you, I have done every way with paint. I have had it where I bought, you know, ketchup and mustard bottles from Walmart and filled them up. I've had the big pumps. And let me know in the comments if you have done that before. What I have found is that for me, Deco Art just has beautiful colors. And I'll tell you a way you can get 50% off Deco Art at the end when we start talking about Paint Party Headquarters, because I can get you um, coupons for 50% off Deco Art paint, which is really awesome. Brushes. We have uh, many different types of brushes you can get. I used to bring my whole family and we'd all use a coupon to get the brushes on sale. Now we have wholesalers inside of Paint Party Headquarters where you can get them at a discount. But really, um, you just need some basic brushes to get started. Okay, so I wanted to put just the highlights here because I think what we forget sometimes is, yes, this is work, right? But it was funny. The other day I was painting and Bobby came in there. We were getting ready for the fall ball and I was working on a painting for a Christmas thing that's coming up. And because I'm always trying to work ahead so things can be ready for y'all way ahead of season. So I'm usually about three to four months ahead of any season just so we can be ready. And um, Bobby's like, you need to quit doing your hobby so you can work. And he said it as a joke. And the reason I want to share this with you is because sometimes this job feels like it's not work. Sometimes you're in the middle of painting a sample and you have great music on or you have um, a great movie on and you're just there with your paintbrush and painting a sample. And it can feel like, man, I should not be getting paid for this. <laughs> Let me know if you have ever felt that way when you go to paint something and somebody's paying you for it. I also want you to know real quick, um, there was a time when I gave everything away for free. And um, I would give it away for free. And then I would just, you know, I, I was working full time as a teacher. And I the, the time I changed that. And, and please let me know if you've ever given your art away for free. Just let me know. I know it happens, right? I cannot be alone. There's no way I could be alone in this. Here's the thing. I was always giving things away for free, doing little projects for people. Oh, I'll do that. I'll do this. I'll take, you know, take care of that. And what happened one time is I stayed up till midnight working on a project that my friend asked me for. It was a school night. I, you know, I was teaching the next day and I came in the next morning. I was tired. I spent time away from my family to do it. I presented it happily to her. And guess what? She totally forgot that she asked me to do that. And that was the moment when I was like, no more free. No more free. I'm done with that. Because I had spent all that time and that energy and that effort and they didn't even ask. So now when people say, hey, can I, you know, get one of those? I'll go, yeah, here's my prices. Or I'll say, yeah, let me text you a price. Let me get your phone number so I can text you a price. And then I really, you know, they pretty much usually don't come back unless they're really serious. So I hopefully that will help you. But I wanted to show you some of the highlights because a lot of times too, we dismiss what can happen in a paint party the highlights of having fun together, the highlights of in the top left, there's my daughter and my mother-in-law, my husband and me setting up for a big party and um, just spending time together and having fun. And um, I think that's one of the greatest joys of this business is just being able to be together with my family and my friends. And of course, have a lot of fun while we're doing this. All right. So we need to know what is your goal? Okay. I would love to hear some of your goals. What do you want to use your paint party money for? And remember your questions, keep asking them. The team's going to be grabbing those so I can answer them at the end. Vacations, Jeannie says, awesome. 
Very cool. A cruise, Jessica says. So my top two obviously are a cruise and cowboy boots. But I remember there was a time when I just wanted to have, I used to go to my mother-in-law's house. Oh my gosh. She would have Insure and Tostito chips. And all I wanted was like, one day I'm going to be rich and be able to buy Tostito chips, the name brand chips. And then Tide, I had to use her washer and dryer because we lived in this trailer house. It was really bad. It had snakes. It was crazy. That's a story for another time. Ugh. But I would have to drive 20 minutes to my mother-in-law's house and use um, her washer and dryer. And while my clothes were washing, I would eat her Tostito chips and drink my stepdad's insure. And I remember just thinking, one day I'm going to be Tostito and Tide Ridge. Like, I just remember being like, yes, one day. So it doesn't matter what your goals are. And um, whether it's saving money for Christmas, a tropical cruise, and David Elizabeth says two month vacation, that would be amazing. And Denise, for her 50th birthday, you have to do something big for that. That's a must. Victoria says, I'm saving for a train tour through Africa in two years. Wow, that's crazy. I've never heard of that. Carol says, a dental implant, cruise, gifts. Very cool. And Annie says, I have been in PPHQ for a while and this is my full-time job. I want to have extra paint party money for a dream electric fireplace for my studio. Oh, I love that. So keep those coming. I want to see some of those cool things. Okay, so now write that down. So what is your goal? You've typed it. Now write it down on a piece of paper. All right, so social media marketing. This is so important to your business. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see this, if you can see this or not, but... This is my very, very, very bad attempt at a flyer. It's so bad. This is what I used to do for my paint parties. I did my own flyers because I didn't have anybody to help me. Thankfully, now we have um, people inside Paint Party Headquarters. We hire graphic designers to do, and we have a whole team that helps with this to make them beautiful. Here is the thing about marketing, okay? It's 80% marketing. So you could have the most beautiful painting, but if you do a really ugly flyer like this that I have done here and um, that I'm showing you on the Paint Your Pet, people aren't going to sign up for it because it's not going to grab their attention. So I want you to know that marketing and social media is really important. And don't worry if you're like, oh, the tech, I cannot take the tech. Remember, we're going to be showing you inside Paint Party Headquarters how you can get all of that. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, next, pricing breakdown. Okay, I told you before, I'll say it again, paint parties isn't a heavy expense on the items. It's more of a service, okay? You're basically setting up an event. You're getting paid very well to do the organizing of it, the collecting of the funds, that making sure there's paper plates, there's paper towels, that it's set up, there's great music playing. You're basically setting up a party, whether it's a ceramic party, whether it's a porch liner party, whether it's a door hanger party, a paint party, a succulent party, a wine glass party. There's many, many, many ways to do this. So I'm just going to show you a simple, typical part and paint party breakdown. Let's say you have 10 people at $35. That's 350 bucks. Okay. If you don't pay for the venue, which most of my venues, I pay zero. If you don't pay for the food and service, which I highly recommend, not buying food or drinks unless you put that in with the price and up it. Supplies around 50 to 60 bucks per party. Helpers, if you only have 10, you don't really need a helper unless this is your very first one. Then you might want to bring somebody. So basically, here's what I do, y'all. I literally, I buy the cheapest I can go until I start making, because I want you to make a profit every party. So I'm not going to go buy a $20 thing of bulk paper towels from Costco. I'm going to go to the dollar store and I'm going to buy one roll of paper towels. I'm going to buy one thing of baby wipes. So now it's two bucks. I'm going to buy some paper plates. I could even put that down to a dollar if I just go to the dollar store. I'm going to buy some paint. I'm going to buy just the canvases I need with maybe a couple extra. Then brushes are a one-time cost, and I use those for years. Sometimes I use my same brushes for two years until they get worn out. And then if I have to pay a helper, I'll pay them $10 to $15 an hour. 
depending on, I mean, if it's like a high school kid, it may be $10 an hour. If it's somebody who's, you know, my age, I, you know, I'll pay them 15 an hour. So that's the thing. It's more of a service. Okay. And thank y'all so much for your questions. Keep putting your questions in there and then I'll answer them at the end. All right. Identity and God, not success. I just want to tell you a very quick story. So this was my first official business. Let me know if you, and, and first off, let me know if this is any of this is making sense. If hopefully my words aren't fumbling and all this is making sense, but this was my first official business. How many of you have had kind of side businesses? I remember back in the day, I used to sell cards when I was a substitute teacher, like handmade cards. And I used to bring my sister salsa. Like, I mean, there's many times I've like tried to sell stuff. Like, can you think of a time as you were growing up or even as a young adult where you were selling stuff, right? I think sometimes we've always kind of had this entrepreneurial thing, but we didn't really know how to fit it into our life or we could make significant change. Well, I had gone on to um, start to find my identity, not in God, but in success. And it really, really struck me. So this was our, um, our very first official business. And this is the one that I started right after bankruptcy. So um, a lot of times I think bankruptcy, even though it's a, you know, now I smile when I talk about it, but in the past, it was such a sad time and um, going through it and then trying to come out of it. But it really, really lit a fire into, I never want to have that feeling again, like that feeling of losing it all and not having that security and um, really just put a hold on me. And it made me just want to um, make things happen. And, um, and so fast forward and. Um, I remember finally having enough money to pay off my student loan debt. My student loan debt was around $42,000. And I had really been like, this has been a debt I had for over 15 years. And I was just so, so tired of it. And I finally had the money. I could pay it off. And I called to make my payment. And I don't know, like, I guess it's my immaturity at the time, but I just thought that the lady accepting my check payment on the other end of the phone would applaud and cheer for me. And there would be a parade. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. And literally I paid her and then she's like, okay, thank you. Have a great day. And I'm like, but shouldn't there be a parade? Like, shouldn't there be some, like, you know, I just thought there would be this more feeling this feeling when you get to a goal, when you finish this giant goal in your life, like you're supposed to be like some confetti. Like, I don't know Have you ever thought that. And so now that I have um, reached, you know, some pretty cool goals in my life, I've realized that it's not about the end goal. It never is. It's about like who we're becoming as we're going to that goal, who, who we're putting our trust in as we're going to that goal. And so I had to like really, you know, me and my husband, I think we went to dinner and, you know, it was like, oh, that's great. But then it, the, the day was normal, right? This thing I had been had over my head for 15 plus years and then it was just done. And then it didn't even, it was done. And so I think sometimes when we have like, I'll start doing this when I get to this point or I'll start being happier when this happens or when I can pay for Christmas in all cash, then I'll have a good attitude about things. Like instead start thinking about this paint party adventure as an adventure and put your identity in God where it belongs, not success, not success, because success will come and go. All right, guinea pig paint party. So your next step, some of you have already done this. Let me know in the comments if you have. You can do a guinea pig paint party with your family members, just have them over, grab some coffee, grab a bottle of wine. I don't know, like whatever it works and put on some great music and just teach the party. Okay. I had somebody I saw and asked the question they said, well, how much is it for a consultation for a CPA? And I'm like, first off, just get a couple of people at your house and teach the party. Make sure you like it <laughs> before you go 15 steps in. Okay, Peggy says she has it scheduled. Peggy, let's give Peggy a round of applause. Good job. Let's see, Shelly says, I'm having a guinea, guinea pig party tomorrow at 10. Hopefully 10 in the morning, not 10 at night. <laughs> I would be out. Terry says, my sis and great niece, she's five. Oh my gosh, Terry, that's awesome. I love um, five-year-olds. They are just so cute. I remember when Pixie was five, she would just hold my hand and she would look at me and go, 
mommy, you're so beautiful. She would just, oh my gosh. Now I'm like, oh, just tell me I'm beautiful. And Pamela says the Sunday, two daughters and two daughter-in-laws and a granddaughter. And very cool. Girls night. So excited. Oh, Pamela, I'm so proud of you. Cindy says doing it in two weeks in my classroom after school, superintendent, some teacher friends and my daughter-in-law, Cindy, high five. That's a big one because now you have access to the school, which is amazing. And then Sandy says, I have a guinea pig party with my four neighbor girls. I love that. And we also have Bonnie. Yes, my first guinea pig didn't go as planned, but I had another one and it was great. Now I'm doing paint parties for almost a year now. Bonnie, thank you for sharing that because sometimes we can have something that maybe doesn't go as good the first time around. And guess what? Failure. It happens. We have to remember that the people who fail the fastest are the ones that are going to have success the fastest. Failure is a part of success. It literally, you cannot have success without having failure. So once we realize that relationship is tied together, it takes the sting away from failure. Okay, so remember, easy step to get started. How many of you have you have sent the magic script? And if you don't know what the magic script is, you need to take a picture of this ASAP, okay? Easy step to get started. Send this to five places, maybe a country club, maybe a community center, a local library. Hi, my name is, and I teach step-by-step -step paint parties. I would love to see about doing an event at your restaurant on a slow night. Do you have time to talk this week? Thank you, Heidi. And then you're going to put... You're um, a couple of paintings. And if you're a part of Paint Party Headquarters, you can literally grab the pictures I have for you. I have hundreds. You can grab the ones on trend and then book your party before you ever have to paint your painting. We're going to go over the success path here in a minute. And I'm going to talk about if you are a brand new painter. But if you look at these and you know you can paint them in Paint Party Headquarters, you can actually use my images to book your paintings first, which is really a time saver. All right, so sending that message out to five places. Okay, here's just a couple of people I want to share some paint party success with because, yes, I've been doing this for over 17 years, but I am not the only one in the world that teaches paint parties. There are many of you out there teaching them, just like Renee. She says, I had one paint party in person with 12 painters. My next one for the 25th sold out in two days. Congrats, Renee. Yay! Jenna says, I booked a venue every other month through December, and I'm waiting to hear back about my regular summer venue about once a month, May through August. And Trudy says, held my first paint party and booked two parties. I figured out Google Forms and linking PayPal payment. I love that, Trudy. That's a great idea. April says, booked my first restaurant. I'm so excited. Thank you, Heidi, for the magic script. Now what to paint? So we got Renee, Jenna, Trudy, and April doing great things. And then here's just some pictures of people doing paint parties all over. And Randy doing hers right here. She says, we have some great parties lately. I love doing business with my husband. Made some great memories and friends and almost booked out until January. Blessed to be a part of PPHQ and inspired by Heidi every day. Thank you, Randy. And then Don says, 16 paint parties this month. How many of you would want 16 paint parties in one month? Not it. I've done it, but not it. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of paint parties in one month. She says, I also work for the school district during the week. You can see her emoji. She looks real tired. <laughs> she said, I finally got the day off and caught up. Since joining this group, I've been so busy. So very cool. And then Sarah, she's another one that just had, I think she had 16 or 17 parties this month. So she is literally doing that many parties um, right now. So I know she's in the thick of it too. Sarah says, I've been doing um, sip and paint parties at my local brewery and tap room for 2.5 years. I thought it was time to switch it up and I offered Starry Night for August and it sold out within 24 hours. So then they asked if they could do a second Starry Night and that one sold out in four hours. Y'all, y'all, this paint party money is serious money. I remember family, like literally y'all at a funeral. I was at one of our, our grandparents' funerals and one of my um, family members said, man, like it was around, you know, 
November, December time. And they were like, so every single one of those people pay you that come to that paint party. <laughs> and they were just amazed because again, just like Sarah right here, that kind of money, that's what most people make in a month. And she's able to do that in one night. It's insane. Julie says, two weeks ago, class filled up in less than an hour with 55 painters and had another full class of 43 painters. Y'all, this is insane. It's so, so powerful what it can do and help you. Denise says, my first ever kids art camp sold out. I put a maximum of 20 because that's all the art room can hold. This was one of my post images. Thank you, Heidi and the PPHQ team and all the PPHQ members for the encouragement to try new things. Very cool. And then Monique, tonight was one of the smallest but best events I've ever had. Sometimes I paint with over 100 people, but the intimacy of a small group is unmatched. No matter how big or small, keep doing what you love and touching people through art. I love this so much. Okay, so here's just some fun pictures of paint parties I wanted you to see. Um, I love doing this. You can see Bobby in the back. He's always in the background, isn't he? <laughs> in the bottom right, you can see him. He's over there taking pictures with the bunny ear painting. So if you want to see Bobby, <laughs> that's why. There he is. He's, he's in the back taking some photos. And then I want to take a second to talk about the success path. So if you haven't heard the success path for Paint Party Headquarters, I want you to hear it because every one of you has a different stage that you're in. And if you don't know what stage you're in, you don't know what stage you're going to. Okay, so I'm going to quickly, quickly say the stages because I know in a minute we're going to get to questions. I want you to tell me, are you stage one, two, three, four, or five? And I'm going to explain what they are. So just take a mental note and kind of figure out which one you are. Because you can't make progress and know where to go unless you know what stage you're on now. So stage one is the hopeful artist. This stage is all, it's that new painter and um, wanting to learn more about painting. And um, for me, like knowing that the power that art heals and that God is the ultimate artist. So you're in this stage, if you're starting to set up like a small area to start painting in, and you're also in this stage, if you're starting to post photos of your painting, or maybe you're showing people, hey, look what I painted and you're showing them photos. So that's the hopeful artist. Okay. So if you're in stage one, Go ahead and put a one in the comments. Okay, stage two. Stage two is the dreaming artist. This is you dreaming of what life would look like with more time to create. I'm still sometimes back at the dreaming artist. <laughs> just, I just want more time to create. And you imagine life with the possibility of owning your own business. Or maybe you just want to teach one or two parties a month. You are excited about having control of your schedule. Okay, so let me know if that's you. Are you the dreaming artist? Are you wanting your own schedule? Are you really wanting to start doing this? Okay, number three, stage three, the confident artist. You have a spot to paint and you are posting paintings on social media. Now it's time to start painting at least once a month. You are proud of your art. You want to paint everything. And you know the people at your local Michaels, at your Hobby Lobby. They, they know your dog's name because you bring your dog in all the time. So if that's you, you are a confident artist. You are painting everything. You've probably painted the walls. You've probably painted the floor. You've probably painted a chair. Like pretty much anything you can get your hands on your painting. All right, stage four. This is the techie artist. Techie artist. You're comfortable posting art on social media creating Facebook lives, social media lives, any kind of Instagram lives, TikTok lives, and you're showing new techniques. You are eager to create marketing materials. You're excited to show others online what, what they love and understand the power of social media. That's the techie artist. So if you feel like you're the techie artist, you are stage four, my friend. Stage five, you are a money-making artist, okay? So money-making artist, you are teaching paint parties consistently. You are making some extra money. In this stage, it's time to scale. It's, it's time to start thinking how you can dig into building your systems and streamlining it so you can have more venues. 
So you're constantly repeating success. Maybe you have several venues going and now you're thinking, okay, what else? You're grabbing the newest paintings from Paint Party headquarters and you're headed, you're headed out going for it. And now you're thinking, maybe I can do something online. Maybe I can do more art kits. And you're thinking about adding things to your paint parties. So let me know in the comments which one you are, okay? Let me know in the comments which one you are. All right, so now we have Brenda at stage two. Very cool. And Phil is also stage two. Very, very cool. And remember, as you're asking your questions, don't worry. We're going we're gonna to answer those as soon as we're done with this. And let's all just take a moment, shake it out. Because sometimes these things can make you want to pull your hair out. Okay, booking parties sometimes, designing flyers. I can't tell you how many times I've almost thrown my computer out the window. Anybody else or is it just me? <laughs> Have you had that moment where you're like, this is it. <laughs> time for a new computer. And getting prepays or getting you know people to pay ahead of time. Going live on social media. Marketing yourself. How many of you feel like you just would rather not, right? Like the marketing yourself. Selling art kits, creating new paintings, time management, how to even teach it, how to teach it step by step in social media. So I know sometimes that can be frustrating. So let me know in the comments which one is the one that makes you want to pull your hair out. Which one's the one that's like, oh, that's the hardest, right? So what I want to share with you, if it's okay with you, let me know if it's okay. I want to share a little bit about how to have an answer to that solution that you don't have to take extra time to do. And this is where Paint Party Headquarters comes in. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Paint Party Headquarters, and then we're going to go and I'll be face to face to the camera and we'll start answering some of your questions until my face falls off. <laughs> okay, so here's the cool thing about Paint Party Headquarters. We've had a lot of people unsure of what it is, and it's how to market paint parties like a pro, how to get butts in seats, okay? You can book parties all day, but if you can't get people to prepay for that party, usually they're not gonna show up. So how to get butts in seats and higher attendance, how to get prepaid attendance so you're already paid before the party starts. Does that sound good, right? Like that's the best. When I show up at a party and it's already totally paid, have paintings and marketing done for you. Have more fun and make a profit every single paint party. Okay, so here's some of the things you get inside Paint Party Headquarters. You're going to get monthly on-trend painting tutorials, marketing materials, marketing and social media trainings, monthly live Q&As. This is where I literally go live. I say for an hour, but it's usually two hours always. Supportive community of business owners. So we have over 2,000 of you that are making money teaching paint parties all over the world. And it's pretty cool and powerful. But could you imagine having over 2,000 people there supporting you? And the cool part is a lot of you have become friends. And we have member brainstorm and strategy sessions, um, which those are so, so powerful. And then these are, of course, optional prayer and gratitude meeting. We do that once a month. And that's a totally optional meeting. We don't even record it, but we allow for an hour a month where we come together face-to-face -to -face via Zoom. And I walk you through a Bible study and we um, talk about, you know, how God can help us in our business. I just feel like I, I couldn't separate that. And I know um, everything that I have gotten has, has come from God. And so I feel like it's just hand in hand. Um, and Paint Party Headquarters has been around over five years so um, for those of y'all that are brand new joining, please don't try to watch or listen to all of it this weekend, okay? Because I know it can be overwhelming. All right, I promised you 50% off deco art paint. So this is another um, benefit to being inside Paint Party Headquarters. You get every single month 50% off deco art Americana paints and a lot of their other products. And it's really, really cool because you can order your stuff, use the code that we have inside Paint Party Headquarters and get your supplies at a discount. All right, so here's what it costs to be a part of this. And I'm gonna answer all of your questions, 
um, here in just a second. So don't worry if you're like, what does this mean? Or how about this? Don't worry, I'll answer it. Um, so it's 47 a month and you can cancel at any time to be a part of Paint Party Headquarters. We have it on an app. We have all of our trainings where you can go on your phone, watch it on an app. You can also log into the website. If you go to texasartandsoul.com, scroll to the bottom, there's a section for Paint Party Headquarter members where you can click and log in, watch trainings from your desktop. We also have um, all the trainings that we release every month, we email to you. And we also have a Facebook group that you can go into. So we have many ways that you're getting the training. So whatever way works best for you. Now, if you're like, hey, I want to commit to a year. I want to give myself a chance. You can actually get three months free by saying, I'm going to commit to a year. Just know if you commit to a year, you are getting three months free, but you are committed to a year. <laughs> so you can't do that and then go, okay, now I want a refund. So if you're like, I'm not sure, let me see what it's like. You can do the 47 a month to cancel anytime. And then here's the link. If you want to take a look at it, you can just take a, like put your camera up and all you have to do is go ahead and put your camera up like this. And then it's going to bring you to a page that'll give you all the information if you want to know more about Paint Party Headquarters. And then what we're doing is we're doing some bonuses. So if you're like, oh, I, I want to do this, but I'm, I always look at things as like risk versus reward, right? So I don't know about you, but there's been many times in my life where I'm like, oh, should I do this? Should I not do this? And we go back and forth through this battle in our head. So what I like to do is go, okay. When I'm 90 years old and looking back on my life, do I want to go, oh, man, I'm glad I tried that? Or do I want to go, oh, man, why didn't I ever try that? Right? So what's the risk? The risk, yes, is $47, but the reward is massive. If you're like Sarah, who has 16, 17 parties this month, then her risk to reward factor is, is non-existent. There is no risk. She's just going to get new paintings that she can grab and go every single month. New trainings, new marketing. How can she get it better? And that's the thing I want you to know about me is I literally wake up and me and my team are always, what can I do to make this better? What, how can I do this better? How can we make this easier for you? We are constantly tweaking, changing what works, what doesn't work to make it better for you. And these are some bonuses. We just came out with this um, for this year. This is going to be a bonus tutorial you'll get immediately when you join, um, along with hundreds of other tutorials. You're also going to get um, access to, I showed you all this. This is just one of the scripts, but we have 13 scripts in here that tell you, you know, if you're going to contact a school fundraiser, what email do you send? We have, if you're going to contact an assisted living, I mean, it's literally exactly what to say. Um, cold calls to venues, the exact script. Emails to community center, exact script. Facebook messages to churches, exactly what to say, and many more. That's going to come digitally to you immediately. Then you're actually going to get a mailed lookbook sent to your home. Okay, so for those of y'all that are in the U.S. are going to get a mailed lookbook sent to your home that you can start using to market your parties right away. So we wanted to give you three bonuses for joining by Wednesday. All right, so everybody take a deep breath. I know it can be scary. I know when you're starting something new, and I just learned this term recently called financial forgiveness. OK, I heard it on a podcast the other day and I wrote it down because I thought that was so, so interesting. Financial forgiveness. And I think sometimes when we're starting something new, we have all these failures before that we've done that we've stacked up. For example, my bankruptcy, that's a massive failure. OK, maybe we bought into, a, you know, a, I don't know, what are those nails called where they did like the the. Um, I don't remember what it was called or the lipstick, the lip sense, or maybe we did Mary Kay for a while and it failed. Maybe um, like I've done Young Living before and it failed. Right. So we've done these different things before trying to make money for our family and then it failed. 
And then we start to think, well, if I failed at those, I'll for sure fail at this. If I did that and I wasted money, I don't want to waste money doing this. The way I teach you is how to have a profit every party. I am not going to say, hey, go out and buy 20 easels, 20 aprons. You need this, 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 this. And this. no, I'm going to say, grab one of the paintings from Paint Party Headquarters, send your scripts, get your Paint Party booked with the picture that I've provided for you. Me, you know, of course, make sure you know how to paint it. And then start getting prepays. Once you start getting two or three prepays, then you know, wait, I need to get this painting painted because now I have a party. As a teacher for 10 years and doing this full time and trying to keep up, that was the hardest thing, was trying to have the on-trend paintings ready to go. If I could have just, I mean, this was created out of a need I had as a, an active paint party person here today. And I remember just being able to, to, you know, grab, I mean, anytime I'm booking a party, guess where I'm grabbing my paintings? Paint party headquarters. Guess where I'm doing my marketing? Paint party headquarters. It is literally the service that I use for my own paint party business now. It is such a time saver. What if you could craft for a living? Craft and paint, yes. What if you could go buy paint for 50% off and that's part of your write-off? It's part of your business expense. Like the joke Bobby said, stop doing your hobbies and get to work. There's a time for hobbies and a time for work. Well, guess what? We're lucky. Our hobbies are our work. You can choose your own hours based on when you want to teach craft and paint parties. If you don't want to work on Sundays, don't schedule parties then. You get to choose. You get to make it up as you go. Here's the part that has really helped me. I am so, so grateful that we're at a place in this business where I can hire people to create the most beautiful graphics ever. <laughs> Praise to the Paint Party Headquarters team, right? So you don't have to worry. We have your Facebook banners ready. We have your marketing flyers ready. We have everything done for you. And we give you a template. You just grab it and put your dates in and use our paintings and put everything in that you need. So you can use your paint party money to pay for our much deserved vacation, those goals we talked about, some of y'all wanting to go on a cruise like me, all of those great things, right? And it takes a lot of the, the tech part that you're frustrated with. It's already done and it's done beautifully. So it always looks great. I have a venue that I've been doing for years and she'll go, okay, we need to pick a date. And I text her because, you know, we're, we've are we been working together for years. So I'll just text back and forth. And um, she'll go, okay. And so we'll pick a date. And then because we have Paint Party Headquarters, within the hour, I'm able to get her the painting choices. And then once she chooses, I'm able to get her the flyer. And she sent me a text one time and she's like, you're the easiest vendor to work with. Like you are, you make it so simple and it's just such a compliment because it immediately looks professional and I didn't have to go try to figure it out. It's already done for us. And remember it's $47 a month or $423 for the year. And if you commit for the year, you get three months free. Okay. So if you want to sign up, go ahead and click here. And then we are going to be, I think we're going to answer some questions. Yep, it is Q&A time. Very excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the Q&A. All right, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to pull up our Q&A. Oh, I've done things that fizzled out. I almost gave up until I saw you. Oh, I know that feeling. And I think what happens too is we, um, we start to lose trust with ourselves and then we start to and um, we start to get nervous about things and we start to think, oh, I don't know if this will work or whatever. And the thing that's different about um, Paint Party Headquarters is not only do you have me helping you through this, like I'm taking your hand and I'm helping you. And um, if there has been something that's happened with, um, with Paint Parties, I can promise you I have been there, done that. I'm telling you with 17 plus years of experience, um, I have been there, done that. And so I'm here to help you. But the coolest part that I didn't even know was going to happen 
when I started Paint Party Headquarters over five years ago, I did not realize how much Paint Party Headquarters members were going to jump in and help each other. Okay, so I want to say a couple of questions here. And it looks like we have, oh my gosh, y'all asked a lot of questions. Okay, so I'm going to be doing rapid fire because sometimes, believe it or not, I can get long winded. Could you imagine me being long winded? <laughs> Sometimes I can get long winded. So I'm going to start rapid fire answering these. And if you're interested in joining us in Paint Party headquarters, please let us know in the comments. Or if you have joined, I would love to welcome you personally. OK, so Lisa, what if um, what if they fuss about the floors being messy? So I know some places they people bring drop cloths and stuff like that. I have done that one time and I regretted it because people trip and I would rather a messy floor than somebody tripping. So what I've done is I um, pretty much tell the people that I'm going to walk around and circle them like sharks. I do that at all my paint parties and I literally am the person and with the baby wipe and I'm ready to go to clean up. So you'll see me many times at a paint party. I'm on the floor and if, if paint spills or I'm watching and to ready to get it cleaned up. And um, but you'll be surprised that doesn't happen too too many times. Victoria asked, how and much do you pay helpers? And so I um, pay helpers around $15 an hour. So anytime I have people at my events, usually it's $15 an hour for them to help. Again, that's up to you and your area as well. Oh, and Irene joined. Congratulations, Irene. I'm so happy to help you and thank you for trusting me. And um, we really try to go out of our way above and beyond um, to do everything we can to help you. So thank you for trusting me and the team. And um, OK, so Mary says, how do you get enough paint to stay on the brush to make one long line? OK, Mary, great question. That just takes practice. I, I don't have a brush in my office. Imagine that. I have so much crap in here. You would think I have a brush. So it looks like it's pretty here, but over here, it's just like a disaster. <laughs> it's everywhere. So um, what I like to do is I take my brush, pretend this is the brush, and I just go back and forth to get a lot of paint loaded up on it. And then just after many, many years of practice, when you get all the bristles, so pretend this is the brush, all the bristles at once, and then I just watch where I'm going, not where I'm at. Okay. So I just watch where I'm going, not where I'm at. And it really is just practice, practice, practice. Sherry says, if we want to try to teach this class, is there a list of everything we need so we don't get there and have a problem? Yes, Sherry. So we also have, that's the thing about Paint Party Headquarters. It is like a library of everything you need for a paint party business. So you can go in there and grab checklists, checklist of what you need. And um, I like to take the checklist and just, you know, tack it to my art studio wall or wherever you have your supplies at in your house. That way you can double check it the whole time. And um, Lana says, how do you pack the paint brushes? Great question, Lana. And um, Lana, so what I do is I do it several different ways. Sometimes I just, depending on how you know, how busy I am. Sometimes I just um, throw them in a bucket. Like I'll get a dollar store bucket. I'll throw them in the bucket. And from that bucket, I can grab them, pass them out. And then also at the end of the night, I can throw them back in that bucket, put a little bit of water in it, and then wash them when I get home. Another really great tip is to put them in gallon size Ziploc bags. That way, again, at the end of the night, you can put them in there, put a little water, seal it, and then just don't forget, as soon as you get home, wash your brushes. All right. And um, let's see. Oh, we have Lisa join. Lisa LeBate. She says, I joined today and I started going through the training. Okay, Lisa, you got a pinky promise me something. And all of you who have joined, okay? Any of you who have joined, first off, pat yourself on the back. It's a big step. And I know it is. Here's the thing I don't want you to do. I don't want you to run into the Paint Party Headquarters Library crazy, crazy, crazy fast. And then you watch every single thing I've done in the past five years. And then you're so overwhelmed. You're like, do I do art kits? Do I do online? Do I do paint parties? Do I do wood? Do I do sled? And then you're freaked out. Remember, there is a ton of information. It's like a library. So think about it like a library. You just go in and you get one book first. You read that one. Then you go to the next one, right? So you're going to start spinning these plates 
but you got to spin the first plate good first before you can start throwing a bunch more in. I didn't start doing art kits and sleds and ceramics all at once. I did what was going to make me money and be popular right then, because there is nothing like being able to have success, make a profit from your first party to boost your confidence and give you the confidence you need to do the next thing. Okay. And um, Aisha says, what happens if I get a group to do the fall ball? Can you assist with flyers if I'm not yet a member? I want to test drive this. And um, so basically any of the flyers we have, so like these flyers, all of these are a part of Paint Party Headquarters, all of the marketing. Okay. So if you think about it, for example, let's say, Aisha, you're like, okay, I'm going to do this. I have a party um, and you book the party and now you need the flyer. Think about, okay, you paid $47 for this flyer that's beautifully done and ready to go. Then you just plug in your information, send it to them. You're going to have a lot of people sign up just because you look professional. So let's say you have 10 people signed up at $35 a person. That's $350. Is $350 worth the $47 fee for that month? So you got to kind of look at it. And remember, this is a marketing expense. This is part of your business expense. This is a write-off. So this is just one of hundreds of flyers we have. We have flyers for the church ready. We have flyers for sleds. We have flyers for spring, fall, summer. We have flyers for everything. So they are ready to go. So I would say try it. And try it for a month if you don't like it, the risk versus reward thing. You risk $47, but the reward could be hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Okay. So I would try it. And let's say you test drive it for a month and you're like, oh, I hated that. You can cancel. It's totally fine. You're not held into a contract. Okay. It's totally fine. The only time you're committed to a year is if you get the three months free and you commit to a year. And that's good for somebody who's like, who's like, you know what? I know that I need to commit. I know it's going to take a little bit longer to do this thing than maybe, you know, and sometimes we got to give ourselves some time to, to get good at something. Irene asked, when you do art kits, would you be able to include a video link of me painting it as well? And um, when you do art kids, would you be able to include a video link of me painting as well? Oh, yeah. So you could paint, you know, paint the painting too. And then you could actually use that painting, put a QR code to um, Canva and put it on there. So when you send it with the kids, they could scan it and then it's going to pull it up as you painting to teach it. That's a great question. Okay. Aaron says, um, what do you charge for custom orders? And by the way, great questions. Oh my gosh, Karen Richardson. She says, I joined today. I'm excited. That's awesome. Congratulations, Karen. Please let us know if you've joined or you're thinking of joining. Um, we would love to congratulate you. And Victoria, Victoria joined today. I'm so excited for you. And then we also, we have another Kathy and Kathy Sala. She joined today as well. Very, very awesome. Congratulations and welcome to your paint party adventure. I cannot wait to help you. And so custom orders, custom orders, um, it depends. So like if I'm doing, let's say this, this sleigh or this sled, right? I may charge, for example, for a custom order, maybe 45 to 55 and um, depending on, so let me back up. When I had more time, I would do custom orders all the time. So you have to look at, do I have a lot of time? Do I not have a lot of time? In the past, I would do custom orders. I would do murals. I would do all kinds of stuff. Now my time is limited. I would rather set up a party of 20 people and charge $45 and make a lot more money than just doing a custom order. So I try to push for actually having them paint their own. Although I have had custom orders and we do talk about that some in Paint Party Headquarters, but I usually go, okay, what's it worth? You know, I remember one time I was at a paint party Somebody wanted to buy my sample painting and I had a paint party in two days with that same painting and I needed it for that paint party. And so I, I said some off the wall number. I was like, well, what's it worth to me? Okay, if they'll pay me $75, I'll paint it again before the paint party because it takes me, you know, I'm pretty fast painter. So it took me like 45 minutes to paint it. So I said, okay, for 75 bucks, you can have it. And he's like, sold, sold. His wife was doing one of the paintings and he walked in there. 
And I was like, all right. So I was like, okay. So the next day I painted it and it was worth 75 bucks to me. So it depends on what it's worth. And let's see. Oh my gosh, we have Sandy that joined. Welcome, Sandy. Very, very excited to get to know you. Cheryl said, join this week. Awesome, Cheryl. Again, I'm so excited you're trusting us and thank you so much. I, I don't take this lightly. I really don't. And Allison says, I joined last week. Very, very cool. Zoe says, I joined yesterday and Cheryl joined today. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so happy you're here. Thank you again for trusting me and the team. Um, we try our best to do everything we can to help you. I'm so, so thankful you're trusting us. Lana says, do I need a website to show off what I do? Lana, no, you don't right now. And um, actually you can still, um, my website isn't technically set up to sell my paint parties and I still teach paint parties every month. So again, the way I teach you to do this is scrappy. <laughs> you can get fancy later. You can make all the bells and whistles later, but y'all, I had no money to start this. And I am resourceful and scrappy. And that is how I teach you to do this. Of course, if you have plenty of money to start a website and do all of that. But what I have found is the people that spend all the time trying to make sure everything is perfect and in line, they've done talk themselves out of it before they ever start. So my job is to really help you take action fast. Get your guinea pig, your practice party going because you're going to do that Start posting pictures of your aunt and your cousin with their pretty their pretty pumpkin paintings, right? You don't need a flyer for that. You just get them over this weekend, paint the pumpkins, post them. People are going to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know Kathy did paint parties. I didn't know Lana did paint parties. Let's get one going. And then they're going to start wanting to book. And you can do the method I taught you with the magic script to start booking them right now. And so, yes, you can have a website, but you don't need one. You do not need one, I promise. And um, let's see, we have Lori. She says, I joined on Wednesday. So excited to be a part of PPHQ. Oh, Lori, I hope you love it. I hope you love it. Okay, Kathy says, are there any restrictions on teaching your classes? Can I teach using ceramic paints at ceramic retreats? And um, so my classes, so for example, these, these paintings are part of Paint Party Headquarters. Really, the only restriction is, is if you work for like a painting with a twist, you can't grab my paintings and then take it to a chain paint party business, for example, and have, you know, all these people, because what will happen is like painting with a twist will say, oh, you're giving us that painting when really it's property of paint party headquarters. And um, can I teach the ceramic paints at ceramic retreats? Yes, you can, Kathy. You totally can. And um, let's see, we have Kim. How do you get your IG Instagram and um, to people interested in painting? How did you show up on my IG, my Instagram? So Instagram, again, anytime you're building your social media, it will take time to build. So here's the deal. When you are going out there and doing the magic script, that is the quickest way to cash. Anytime I start to get frustrated or I look at my calendar and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's no paint parties on the books. I need paint parties on the books. There's not a secret way I go to get paint parties and then tell you a different way. It's the same way. Or if you've been doing paint parties for a while, guess what? I'm going back to the people I did paint parties with last year. Hey, setting up my Christmas events. Do you want in? You know, do you want me to save you a date? That's what I do, because once you start to build a reputation as you're the paint party go to and you've done a paint party, you've done a great job. We teach you how to do a really good job. We're not trying to do halfway stuff here. I'm, I'm a person who goes above and beyond on everything. And I want you to do that, too, because that's how you build your reputation. That's how you get repeat customers. That's how you get people coming back to you year after year is because you show up, you care about people and you do a great job. So, um, so as far as like showing up on social media, that part is about being consistent. You've got to do lives. You've got to show up. It takes time to build the online and that takes longer. And Joyce says, do you need to have easels? Not at first. Okay. And I still teach parties. I'm teaching a party on Tuesday where I will not have any easels at that party because it has to be flat. 
So you don't have to have easels, all right? And remember, I want you to have a profit from the very first party. Don't go in the red on your first party. That's not going to motivate anybody, <laughs> especially not you. So I want you to do this. Be scrappy at first. Prove to yourself you can do it. And I really, really am excited for you. And let's see. Um, remember, any of y'all, again, I'm going to be answering these questions so my face falls off. But I just want to remind you, anybody joining tonight, you're going to get the lookbook mailed to you. So this has hundreds of designs and think about if you were to take this and drop it off at a, a doctor's office or drop it off at a place or show somebody hey here's what i can offer how powerful that is to help book your parties for christmas hey i'm already booking my christmas events here's some we can pick from but you know what i'm saying there's so much power in being like here's all of these options you know what i mean and and people sh you show up you show up professional. Um, okay, so um, I just want to say any of y'all that are joining tonight, first off, congratulations. Welcome to your paint party adventure. Welcome to paint party headquarters. Also, I um, know there's a lot coming at you. So take a deep breath. Don't try to watch everything at once. <laughs> it will be there for you, I promise. And we have Lori Jean Pope. She says, I joined Wednesday. Congratulations. Charlene says, I'm going to join Tuesday night. Yay. Put it on your calendar so you don't forget so you can get the bonuses. I don't want you to miss out on the bonuses. Um, Tanya Tuttle says, I just joined. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. Peggy said, joining tonight. Well, welcome to the family. And we have Roxanne Mann who just joined. Again, thank you so much for trusting me and our team. And um, we will do everything we can to help you. And I really, really appreciate it. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we also have a monthly tech hub. So Allison, who's a dear friend of mine, and she's also a part of our team, she does a tech hub every month where you get to be via Zoom, where she actually walks you through step-by-step -step via Zoom, another tech um, hurdle that people have every single month. So that's another reason why. So if you get stuck, Again, we're not we're not going anywhere. We're here to help you. So very, very excited about that. Okay, let's see. Victoria says, let me take a drink of my coffee. Cheers. Okay, Victoria says, what do you do if you set up an event and only have five signed up at a restaurant? Do you proceed or reschedule? Victoria, proceed. Oh my gosh. If five people have signed up, I would show up. First off, Victoria, you're about to be in go season, right? So you want to have a very great relationship with the owners of the restaurant, with the wait staff, with those people. I am really bad at remembering names. So when I do my restaurant events, I pull up a notepad on my phone and I put in, okay, who is serving? Who is the bartender? Who is the owner? I put in their names. I put in the name of the venue. That way, next time I'm booking one, or sometimes I'll book it before I leave that night. And so, yes, definitely. Remember, small parties lead to giant opportunities. I have had times, I mean, we saw Monique earlier. She said, you know, I've taught over 100 people, but she had a party that had just a few people, and it was so intimate, and she was able to build those relationships. I had a party of four one time, and because I still showed up for that party, I ended up building a relationship where they not only hired me for their home party where I made 350 bucks, I also got a $75 tip and they came to my monthly parties I had at a distillery for over a year. So you never know where that can lead. So definitely do that. And plus you're getting paid to basically do a practice party. Cheryl says, do I have a business page or can I use a group page connected to my personal page that is already branded and has 200 followers. Okay, so Cheryl and, Cheryl, oh, Piper. Piper wants to say hi. Oh, hi. Oh, oh my goodness. We have the kids. She's going to kiss. Oh, I love you so much. So y'all, if you haven't met Piper, <laughs> she is a liquor. Mwah. I love you. I love you. She loves to French kiss whether you want to or not. You just got to be ready. Right. Right. What do you think? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Sweet Piper. 
Say hi to Piper. <laughs> she is so cute. I love her so much. <laughs> okay, so Cheryl says, do I have a business page or can I use a group page connected to my personal page that is already branded? Um, so, okay, so you can use the group page. That's fine. However, Cheryl, I will say it's, it's not a must at the beginning to have a Facebook business page, but I would, when you can, go ahead and start one just because in the future, there's other things that you can add to your paint party business, like an online paint party business. Um, and you can do that in a group, but it's always good to have a page because sometimes they can't find the group. So it's okay to have a group, but I would definitely have um, a page as well and just start slowly building it. There's no rush to build it, but at least you have a presence there. Jan asked, do you generally use 16 by 20 canvas? So you can see I use all different sizes. So 16 by 20 is the average. But honestly, a lot of times because people are wanting a party to be more around the two hour mark, a lot of times I'll use an 11 by 17 or a 12 by 16 just to keep the party shorter. And OK, let's see. We have a few more people that have joined. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Oh, so we have Coda. Coda in Madrid says joining tonight. High five, Coda. Very exciting. Wendy says join last night. Welcome, Wendy. Very, very exciting. Teresa says, yay, I just joined. Cannot wait to get the lookbook. Ah, we will be sending this to you. Give us a little time, but we will definitely get it sent to you. We also have Mary. She says, I joined a serendipitous sign. Oh my gosh, I just said the, the big word serendipity. I said it wrong, but I said it. A serendipity sign showed up, so I went for it. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, as you get to know me, I'm not very good at big words. So when I say big words, I do celebrate. I do celebrate, just saying. And Patty says, joining the PPHQ, love the guidance. Thank you, Patty. I'm so happy you're joining, Patty. You too, Mary. And then Pamela Woodby says, I missed the last join. I'm glad I joined this time. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for y'all. Y'all, y'all. You're going to make a lot of money this fall. I am so you, I mean, obviously we're going to show you how you need to take action, of course, but I am so proud of you because this is a big, scary step. Remember, one of the biggest things is fear of failure. And so as you go into this, I know it can be so exciting, so scary. Am I doing the right thing? But you got to remember risk versus reward. Your risk is $47. Your reward is huge. It can be massive. And I want you to like be there on Christmas morning and being like, oh my gosh, I just paid for all of Christmas in cash. Oh my gosh, I just put money aside and made extra money to go on a vacation or to go somewhere cool with my family. Like I want you to think through the possibilities of what can happen. I am so done with the mentality of starving artists. That is not even in my brain. For those of you that are um, have ever like, thought about, I mean, I used to not know this. And I remember in the past, a fellow teacher taught me this. She taught me the power of words. And then as I started reading more in the Bible, it says so many times. And, you know, our my friend Julie, who also works with us, she teaches paint parties. She's taught probably a thousand paint parties by now. And she usually does the Proverbs and um, Proverbs at the beginning of the year. And she'll go through the Proverbs every day of the year. And so or I'm sorry, every day of January in the beginning of the year. And I remember I was like, oh, I'm going to she was posting about it. And I'm like, I'm going to go through Proverbs. And sometimes I have a potty mouth. I'm just saying sometimes I use a cuss word or two or 10. And um, and I don't I'm just saying I'm just being honest here. And so. I'll like, okay, I need to have my words better. And I'll go through the Proverbs and it talks so much about how words are powerful. And, um, and usually if I ever need a good, you know, <laughs> a good pick me up of like, get my words on track. And so that teacher had said that too. She's like, you need to remember, you know, words are either build you up or they'll tear you down. Same thing with people, the way you speak to people, the way you speak about people, the way you speak to yourself. That's the one where we speak the worst is to ourself. We can't do this. We're not able to do this. And we have this power. So if we're, if we're doing that all the time, of course, you're not going to be able to do it. But my job in Paint Party headquarters is to help build you up, to help show you that, okay, maybe you didn't do it in the past, or maybe you had 
um, you know, a bad attitude about things in the past, or I was the most negative person. Bobby used to make the joke. He'd go, if you won the lottery, you would complain about the cash option. Like that's how negative my words were. I didn't even realize it. Somebody would say cute shirt and I'd be like, I only pay $2. Like I just like make sure somebody knew that I wasn't worthy of a shirt that costs full price. You with me? Anybody do this? Anybody doing this to themselves now? I want you to know that there is hope. <laughs> we can change our words. And, and if you ever struggle with the power of your words, and um, I'm so happy Julie um, was doing that Bible study and I was following her. And um, because I was able to like read through Proverbs and realize like God really talks about the power of words too. I'm not saying my potty mouth is totally cleaned up because that would be a lie. But I am saying that we have to remember the power of words, the power that we we say things and that, you know, we can either um, build ourselves up or we can tear ourselves down. OK, so um, Denise, she says, are we able to modify the flyers? Can we change the pricing on the flyers? Yes, yes, yes. Denise, all the flyers are editable. Yeah, I got it. Editable. I usually struggle with that word. So yes, they can be edited. So you get a template and then you can go edit whatever you need. Carol asked, how do you handle bookkeeping for the tax man? Oh, Carol, this is a great question. In the past, I used to, at the end of the year, grab all my receipts and me and Pixie would have kind of a tax party and I would have her divide by supplies, divide by, I mean, it was awful. We don't do it that way anymore. <laughs> so I highly recommend um, you just, you know, at the beginning, just save your receipts. But as you start doing this a lot, I have a debit card. I don't have credit cards because I, from the bankruptcy. So we just decided we, we don't have control to have a credit card. So our family uses debit cards and the debit card. And um, I just put all my business expenses on my business debit card that I have linked. And um, so I really, y'all, I teach you inside Paint Party Headquarters. I want to be very, very clear that I can teach you all day, every day, how to have a profit from paint parties. We, we do have a few trainings on taxes, but for the most part, I do not want to get you put in jail. So, um, so I pretty much say you need to, um, I pretty much say like, go find a local CPA, a local trusted CPA and make sure you have everything in order. Cause again, I don't want to get you in trouble. And um, let's see, Jamie says, do you pay your marketing people? And um, so if you're talking about the people that do the marketing flyers for paint party headquarters, of course, yes, we pay anybody that helps us and um, inside paint party headquarters. If you're talking about people who are your venues, and um, those people, usually it's a win-win. So let's say we have a paint party at a winery. If I'm going to bring people in and I need help getting it, maybe I don't have customers yet. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like if you were a massage therapist or a hairdresser, right? And you're trying to get new clients to come to your massage place or your hairdresser place. You're still brand new. So you're trying to get new clients. Well, as you get a new client, you're going to build up your clientele. So a lot of times you'll come across the massage therapist. We have a massage therapist that she's like four months to get in. Like I'm booked all the way out through Christmas because if I don't book through Christmas, I will never get a massage with her. So I want you to make sure that as you are working with, for example, a winery, that that winery, they're going to post about it. They may email their list about it. That's why I say when you're brand new to this, the fastest way to cash is to find a place like a country club that already has an email system that already has people that are already meeting. Becky says, I also want to do this in assisted living centers because they are on fi fixed income. Should I charge less? Yes, you can charge less. That's totally fine. Also, there's um, assisted living places that sometimes have money set aside for activities. So check that out as well. Peggy says, where are you buying your brushes and paints? So paints, deco art. I love their um, Americana. Again, 50% off coupon every month when you join. So it's another benefit. And then brushes, we have several places. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Michael's. But we also have certain wholesalers inside Paint Party Headquarters that we share when you're a member. That's part of the, the member benefits information. 
And we have Kathleen that just signed up. Welcome, Kathleen. Anne just joined. Welcome, Anne. So thankful. And then Paula says, just joined. So excited. Paula, I'm so excited too. And thank you so, so much for trusting me and the team. We call and the team, we call them the guardians of Paint Party Headquarters because they really are the guardians. Every day they're going in and helping like answer your questions and they're helping lead you to trainings I've done about the questions you have. And, um, and I'm excited too because I know I'm not promising friendships with this Paint Party Headquarters, but I'm not not promising friendships because some of, and if any of y'all are on here and you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you can let them know. Um, if you have met a friend through Paint Party Headquarters, but we encourage you to meet up with your other Paint Party Headquarters members. So what's been really cool is people literally, literally um, go like to a coffee shop or they meet up and do stuff and they end up becoming friends. And it's really, really, really powerful to see that happen. So make sure and... Um, Make sure that you um, do that. Like, you know, as you join, you find people in your your um, area and then see, you know, if you can become friends, you never know. All right. So Janice says, um, in California, I would have to pay 17 an hour. That's the minimum wage here. And now should I charge more than 35? Actually, Janice, you could still charge. You could still pay somebody 17 an hour. Almost everybody I pay is 15 to 20 an hour. And um, I just tell you 10 because I know some areas and um, they're hiring high school students. So if your minimum wage is 17, that's totally fine. So I usually pay 15 to 20 dollars and I'm still making a profit. So if you have 20 people at 35 dollars a person, that's 700 bucks. And then you pay, you know, maybe 50 to 100 dollars for somebody to help you. And that's 650 dollars after that. And then, if, you know, some supplies you're still going to make easily $500 that night. Okay, let's see. Are brushes available wholesale somehow on PPHQ? And so we do have vendors that we share inside PPHQ that have wholesale prices. So yes, we do have that we'll share. And Brigitta asked, or Brigida, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. She says, would it help encourage public venues to host if we provide a liability waiver for parent painters to sign? Okay, so one of the things too is usually that's not an issue. Again, I've been doing this for over 17 years and I have never had to have painters sign a liability waiver. And um, when um, I do, you know, Paint Party Business Live, which is a huge event we offer once a year, I'll have a, a waiver signed for that. But for the public venues, that's really not something that's going to encourage or disencourage. Um, but there's um, there's people that offer that and people in Paint Party headquarters that do share things like that. Nancy asked, let's see, is there a better night of the week to have paint parties? We just booked our first venue last night. Congrats, Nancy. And so I like to, I'm having them on, I pretty much have them anytime except for Sunday. I don't really like doing parties on Sundays, but um, I have had some of my biggest parties, believe it or not, on a Monday night. Um, Wednesday nights are good. Tuesday nights are good. Thursday nights are great. Um, some of our paint party headquarters and um, people have really great luck on Fridays and Saturdays. Usually I try to stay away from Fridays and Saturdays, although next week I have a party on Friday night. So, um, so yeah, so this week, this coming week, I have a party on Tuesday night at a dentist office. I'm teaching a dental painting, <laughs> which we have we have all the dental stuff for you in Paint Party Headquarters. And then on that Friday night, so I have two paint parties next week. So I'm teaching a dental party. And then on Friday night, I'm teaching at a, um, a resort. So um, so yeah, so there's there's all different nights you can do it on. And Jamie says, do you need to have an LLC or would it be beneficial? Okay, so right now, if you're doing this, do your practice party first. That's the biggest thing. Then you can do a DBA, doing business as local county clerk's office. It's like 25 bucks, very cheap to grab. Then later, once you talk to a local CPA that you trust, then you can figure out your next steps. And we have Angela, is it Angela? Angela, Angela just joined today. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you for trusting us. And y'all, the benefits of joining Paint Party Headquarters is 
not only do you have me and the full support of our team helping you, but you also have over 2000 people that are all over the world doing the same thing that you're doing. So when they have a struggle or they have a, a suggestion, guess where they're going to share that information. And um, besides the fact that we're going to be supporting you with trainings and information, you're also going to have access to to hundreds of designs ready to grab and go. So if you're working full time or you have you know kids at home or grandkids or you're a caregiver and you're doing all of these things and you just want to make some extra money, we have it ready for you to grab and go. So it's kind of like if you were a sub going to a teacher and you need a, the sub plans, you don't have to come up with them. They're there for you. So Paint Party Headquarters, that's just a few of the multitudes of benefits that it has. And again, like I said, the risk versus the reward. The risk is, oh, $47, you get in there and you're like, ah, oh, this sucks, but you won't. <laughs> but if, you, if it's not for you, I totally get it. Okay, do I need liability insurance? Right now, Brenda, don't worry about that. I just want you to do a practice party, okay? Denise says, for online parties, I assume the participants get a supply list from you. Yeah, and Denise, that's the greatest thing. Online parties do take longer to build up, but guess what? If all of a sudden you've booked an online party and you need a supply list, guess where you can go grab it and it's already beautiful. Pay party headquarters. <laughs> Tina says, I would like to know about the porch signs and art kits. Does PPHQ have all the info in a book? Oh my gosh, Tina, not, we have everything. Oh, we have trainings on porch signs. We have discussions on porch signs. We have art kits. We're actually about to release in the upcoming month or two. I think it's in two months. We have interviewed some of our best art kit people inside of Paint Party headquarters, and they're giving their best tips for art kits. <laughs> so we've compiled it all together, and it's members of Paint Party headquarters who are sharing their best tips. And Wendy says, please cover the booking for a church. Do they get a donation? So Wendy, a lot of times for a um, church party, you can choose to do a donation if you want. I've done parties where part of it goes to the church. I've done parties where all of it goes to the church just because I wanted to give it. And um, I've also done parties where it's a women's event and they're paying $35 to do this event. So it's totally up to you. And when you're talking to the church on how you want to do it. So I've pretty much done all different ways. Beth says, how do you figure for fundraisers? Beth, we have a whole training on fundraisers inside of Paint Party Headquarters. But just the very simple answer, a real quick answer is um, I usually, if I'm charging 35, I'll go down to 30. They'll charge 40. And then on the flyers, I'll say $10 of every event goes to the fundraiser. Susan says, do you charge for having a guinea pig party? I don't. I do not charge. I just want you to take action fast so you don't talk yourself out of it because that's the thing. Once you do it and you go, hey, let's paint this pumpkin. Let's have some fun. Then you're like, okay, it's go time. Let's do this. And then it kind of starts to spin. It's kind of like when you have that idea, you don't want to sit on it too long, right? Because then you might not take action. And I want you to have some success. I want you to look back and go, I'm so glad I did that. Look what happened. Look at how creative my life is. You know, when I was working in corporate, then becoming an art teacher. And, and then now I look at my life. My life is totally filled with art, every single aspect of it. And so I'm just so, so thankful for that. So you got it. I mean, it didn't happen overnight, right? I mean, I'm, I'm 17 plus years into this. So it doesn't happen overnight. But if you want a creative, colorful life, you've got to take the first step to build it. And Tammy says, Tammy Crawford says, Join yesterday. The designs are totally worth it. Takes a lot of the hard work out of it. Thank you. Oh, Tammy, thank you for saying that. That is our mission to take the hard work out for you so you don't have to do it. Anita says, just signed up and committed for the year. She says, nervous but excited. Oh, Anita, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Again, I know it's going to be scary, but it's okay. We are here to help you. Okay, Lana says, do you email the magic script or call? Okay, so we're going to, I think we're going to email the magic script. It's also inside Paint Party Headquarters. So when you sign up, you're going to get access to this right away. Okay, let's see. Jen says, what do I say when they respond that they want to talk? Do you show them several options? How does that conversation go? 
Jen, we have a whole mock interview between me and my daughter where we show you exactly how to do that. We also, in the scripts, we have a phone call. Look at this. What if they reply? What do you do if they reply, right? Like, we don't want you to freak out. We want you to know exactly what to do. Here's what you do for fundraisers. This is going to be emailed to you as soon. Just, just this alone is worth the $47. Just this alone. Um, schools, schools, fundraisers, door hangers, assisted living. Y'all were asking about that. Venues, cold calls to venues. What do you say? Exactly what you say. What they're going to like the, the um, things between it. How to email venues. How to email community places. I mean, this alone is worth your first first month. Churches, how to email churches and how to do Facebook messages to a church, how to message a restaurant. All of these, you're going to get emailed out as soon as you sign up. And Denise says, if you receive prepayments and somehow someone, hold on. Okay, let's take a deep breath. I've been going 100 miles an hour. <sighs> <laughs> I'm answering these questions as fast as possible and I'm starting to blur them. <laughs> okay. I told you I was going to answer till my face fall off. <laughs> okay. So Denise says, if you receive prepayments, am I doing okay? By the way, let me know in the comments. Are you, are you getting the answers you need to, to make an informed decision about paint party headquarters? Yes or no? <laughs> let me know. <laughs> okay. Denise says, if you receive prepayments and someone is a no-show, do you refund them? If not, what do you say to participants before booking? So on mine, I have a no refund. Oh, good. Y'all say yes. You're perfect. Oh, thank you, Pamela. That made my night. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, so um, yes. Okay, so if I put on the, the form, like we teach you how to make like a, um, a page where they can sign up, and I put no refunds, okay? But here's the thing. I'm not a monster. If somebody's like had their you know, parent die or, or something happened and they can't come, I will either um, offer them a refund or I'll give them a, um, a kit for it. So a lot of times, especially if they're just like, oh, I can't make it. I was sick. I'll be like, hey, I'll have a kit ready for you and I'll you know, drop it by or whatever. So um, it just depends on you know, your policy. But, um, but yeah, I do not, like if they're just a no-show, it, it says on my form, no refunds. Um, what is the policy for PPHQ members in the same area? Oh my gosh, Carol, I love this question. Okay, because I know too much coffee. I'm definitely too much coffee. And um, so I love this question. So what are the policy for PPHQ members in the same area? Y'all, I live by Fort Worth. There are many PPHQ members in Fort Worth. There, I've had a PPHQ member in Granbury. I meet him for coffee. <laughs> I mean, here's my thing. I don't need every paint party. And how cool would it be instead of feeling the competition, instead of feeling this, instead, what if all of a sudden something happened and you could refer somebody or maybe you got sick? You could say, hey, my PPHQ person that now I'm friends with because instead of me being jealous, I had coffee with them and realized that there is plenty of paint parties for all of us. I'm really sick and have the flu. Is there any way you could cover me, right? How about a bonding? Now maybe you've made a friend. Now maybe you could collaborate. It is so much better that way, y'all. If we're going to be mad at everybody that tries to do the same thing, just because Whataburger is selling a burger doesn't mean McDonald's isn't selling a burger, right? I, mean, I don't go to either of those places in my town just because they're nasty in my town. <laughs> but, but let's say the chicken place. We have like 500 chicken places in Granbury. I go to all of them because I love chicken. Okay, so it definitely, I know, you know, there's, there's different attitudes with that, but I just truly feel like instead, link arms, become friends, you know? That might be one of your best creative friends. We don't know where this online, this creative paint party adventure is going to lead you. It might lead you online doing paint parties where they want to do art kits, where they want to teach kids parties and you want to teach adult parties. What happens then? Maybe you can collaborate. Who knows? Carol asks, is it, does it cost extra to get the tracers? No, that is all included. I'm telling you, like, we really try to go above and beyond. And we're really big about listening. Like we'll have people in Paint Party headquarters that suggest something. Guess what? If it's a good suggestion and we can do it, 
We put it on our stuff to film for you, to learn about, to train. We've had people asking about different things and we really try to go out of our way to come up with the next training to help you. So um, again, I told you, I get up and I work for you. Like that's my mentality about this whole thing. And um, let's see, Sheila says committed for the year two. Oh, Sheila, I'm so excited for you. And um, Glenda says, I just joined Glenda Wheeler. Congratulations. Welcome. I'm so, so happy to help you. Thank you. Thank you so much y'all for trusting us. Thank you for trusting our team. I know our team is on here right now helping and um, grab your questions that I'm going through. So I just want to say thank you for trusting us. We really all do try to do our best to really, really help you as much as we can. We don't always get it right, but we really, really try. Bessie says, oh, I love your name, Bessie. That is so cute. I signed up and I live in Canada. Will I get a book? Actually, Bessie, I was just talking to Allison about that earlier today. We're looking at how much that price costs to send to Canada. If it's not too much, we're going to send it. If it is a lot, we may contact you. And if you want to pay the shipping, you can pay the shipping. However, know that every single one of you that have joined and all of you currently in Paint Party headquarters, you have access right now to download this book and you can actually edit it. So if you want to put your information in here, if you want to edit it and put other paintings in here, you totally can. So it's ready for you right now as soon as you join. Okay, Paula says, or I'm sorry, Patricia Du Bois, she says, just joined, scared, but going to give it my best shot. Oh, Patricia, don't be scared. I, I know it's scary, but don't be scared. Here is the thing. You're going to fail, okay? I was having a conversation with my mother-in-law a few weeks ago, and she was talking about something that she was doing, and she said, yeah, but it's just so scary because I don't want to fail. And I looked at her, and I was like, failure is 100% happening. You do know that, right? And she was like, what, 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 wait. And I was like, yes, it will happen. I promise you. Finn. And so again, you have to change your relationship with failure. The more you fail, the more you succeed. The more you fail, the more you realize not how to do it. Okay. So once you realize that that is part of it, failure is, is, is a part of it. And it's going to not hurt as bad. I fail all the time, like flat on my face fail all the time. But then I go, wait, I get up, I shake myself back off. You know, Bobby says, you're like one of those things that just fall and goes back up. And I'm like, yeah, I used to I'd fall and it'd take me, you know, a, few, a month, a few weeks to get back up and brush it off. Now I'm just like, fail, fail, fail. <laughs> I just get back up, right? Because it doesn't hurt me as much. It may take me a few hours to get over it now, or I gotta, ugh, gotta shake it off because that one hurt real bad but then it gets easier. I promise you. So I'm very excited for you. Deanna just signed up. Awesome. Pamela says, you're, Pamela, that is so sweet. She says, you are seriously too good to be true. I'm so excited to sign up after this Q&A. Pamela, thank you for saying that. We, we just want to go above and beyond. Like I seriously want you to make money doing this. It has changed my family's life. Paint parties gave me a chance to actually travel. Paint parties gave me a chance to actually buy stuff for Pixie, my daughter, that I wanted to, that I couldn't afford. It changed everything. You can go into a venue, teach a party of 50 people at Christmas time, and you have paid for a trip. You have paid for Christmas. You have paid for whatever you need. And it is crazy what can happen. So yes, I am so, so, so passionate. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very passionate about this. Michelle says, what do you charge for an online party? If you're a PPHQ member, do you have to pay for the designs and patterns? If they're included, is it only one per month? No, Michelle, you have hundreds of designs ready for you, ready to go with tracers, with almost all of them have instructions, step-by-step, -step, tracer, supply list, everything ready. They're ready for you. And no, when you're a Paint Party Headquarters member, it's there. I mean, I'm serious. You'll sign up and you'll be like, oh my gosh, she wasn't lying. There's a lot in here. <laughs> and there is, but we're going to help you. Okay. We do a meeting every month for people who have just joined just to get like show you around we have a 10 minute training 
that says where to get to the good stuff fast. Um, we want you to actually this gets sent to you. Let me show you. When you join, we also send this to you. This is also something that we'll send to you when you join that kind of like so you don't get lost, right? It kind of shows you we have a calendar every single month that shows you what's coming out, when and where, so you can put it on your calendar, the deco art, how to get the coupon there, everything, just so much. So this comes to you too. So you'll actually have a fun little package together. So look forward to that. And um, Diane asked, what do you include in a kit and what price point? Diane, we have a whole set of training on kits, on art kits. So, um, so when you get into Paint Party Headquarters, if you decide to join, we have all of that on there. Like I said earlier, we're having a really cool training coming out in the next couple of months where I've interviewed some of the top, actually, no, they've given me some of their top tips and we put them all into one training. So we have tons and some kits can be sold anywhere from $15 to $65. I've sold kits at 65. I've also sold them at 15, depending on what it is. Okay, let's see how many questions we have left. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to, dang, I'm going to have to rapid fire. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can rapid fire some of these. We have a lot and my face is starting to fall off. So let's see what I can do. Okay, oh my gosh, we have 40 more questions. Okay, I'm going to rapid fire. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> because my face is about to fall off. We're, we're two hours in. Jessica says, does Deco Art have larger bottles or do you just bring the little bottles? They do have larger and I bring both. Lynn says, how long do you spend on a painting during an event? Anywhere from an hour for kids parties to two, two and a half hours for adult parties. Lori says, can we use the tracer patterns to make a stencil if we are a member of PPHQ? Yes. <laughs> Rhonda says, have you ever had unhappy customers? How, how did you handle this situation? Yes, Rhonda, I have had some unhappy customers before. And um, my job is like, as soon as I see an unhappy customer, I'm like, challenge accepted. <laughs> and then I try to get it turned around. If not, sometimes you can't please everybody. And that's just part of life. Renee says, do you stand or sit when painting in front of the class? Renee, you can do this any way you want. I never sit. I'm always a walker, but I kind of circle them like sharks. But I'm not a person who um, ever really sits. Um, but I usually don't just stand in one place. I'm usually all over the place ready to help. Denise says, if you cancel, are you still allowed to use the designs? Denise, no. So it's kind of like, think about if you joined a YMCA. Join the YMCA, you're using the treadmill, you're using the pool, you're using the gym, you're using all the things allotted with the YMCA. If you cancel the YMCA, they're not going to let you come in and use their treadmill just for fun. So that's how Paint Party Headquarters is. You have access to use hundreds of my designs whenever you want, but you can't join and then cancel. And then three months later, all of a sudden try to use my Santa or my Christmas designs. And, and I think that's totally fair. Again, if you're paying 47 a month and you're, you know, making money doing this, like I, I think that's a very, very fair price um, for using unlimited amounts for these designs. And um, Delisa says, can you do your own designs? Of course you can. You can totally do your own designs. Um, but again, some of y'all do your own designs and then you just use my social media marketing stuff or you use my flyers or you just learn the social media. And um, I love growing my business. So if you've looked at my Facebook page or my Instagram page, and um, I really try hard to grow my social media following. And a lot of that I'm teaching inside of Paint Party Headquarters as well. How to get people to notice you, how to do a live, how to do a, a, things like that. Caroline says, if you decide to try monthly and want to do the yearly after the month, how does that work? So that's a great question, Caroline, because we have people who um, join the monthly. They get in there and they're like, oh, my gosh, this is really awesome. And then they want to do the yearly so they can get three months free. Yes, you can do that as long as you notify us within that 30 days. And that way we can change you to a yearly instead of the monthly. Carolyn says, can you do different paintings than the lookbook? Yes, definitely, Carolyn. I'm just here to help you and advise you and give you resources you can use. You can just like listen to my advice. You don't have to use the paintings. I just want to offer it as much as possible to help you. 
Okay, how are we doing on questions? Oh, are we breathing? Am I breathing? I'm not breathing. Hold on. I need to stop take I, I need to stop drinking coffee because I'm gonna be like so wired tonight. <laughs> okay. How's everybody doing? Are you hanging in there? Let's see. Oh, I'm still answering questions. If you join for a year, do you pay the same amount every year? Yes, that's the cool thing. Because if we ever go up in price, you're grandfathered in at this price. And Beth says, does every painting have a video instruction to go with it? Almost every painting does. So sometimes I go live on Texas Art and Soul because that's my, my business page. And I'll get inspired. Like last night, I painted something just on a whim. If it turns out good, guess what? I'm going to take a picture of it and Paint Party Headquarters is going to have access to use that. So we may link it to a video like that. But the videos like these that we have here, those are done where it's just me teaching. It's straight on so that you can see it and you can know exactly what to do. And where and what type of easels do you purchase? Denise, I like the easels from Artist Law from Michaels. I usually get the foldable ones um, that are metal, but you can get any kind. Janet says... How much prep work do you do? So I get everything ready. And Pixie, my daughter, who's 17, who is always needing gas money, she works for me. And then Bobby, of course, helps me, my husband. And we get everything ready. We trace the canvases. We get the paints ready, the brushes ready. I mean, all of it. So when we show up, we set up, we do the party, we clean up and go from there. Diane says, what do you include in a kit at what price point? So um, again, kits range anywhere from $15 to $65. And that also depends on what's included. So if it's a kid's kit, local area, we have tons of training that talk more about kits inside Paint Party Headquarters, but it totally depends on what you're offering. I may do a sled kit like the Santa here. We have a ton of sled designs. I may do those, but I may do two sleds for $65, something like that, but it may include stuff, it may not. And again, there's so many different ways to do that, but we teach you all of that inside Paint Party Headquarters. Laura says, how do you file the patterns and instructions? So um, we have them all in a system. So we have a system called AIR. AIR has them by season. So for example, and um, we'll have all of the winter designs, all of the spring, all of the summer, all of the fall, all of the kids, all of the assisted living, we have everything sorted for you. So you can go in and go, I'm looking for fall. I need this one. Okay, now there's a link. I'm going to download that tracer. I'm going to download the supply list. I'm going to download all of that. Then you can file it if you want. Like if you've printed it, you could put it in a binder or something like that. We just ask that if you are no longer a part of Paint Party Headquarters, that you respect us to not continue to use them. And Elsie says, how many miles out do you go and do you add the fuel expense, the canvas price or separate? So um, <laughs> Elsie, I'm a weird one, okay? Let me know if you're kind of weird like me. I'm actually teaching a party in Florida next week. <laughs> so, so I'm a little different. I'll, I go all over. I'm, I'm going to be in Florida for a business thing. So I was like, well, I'll set up a party. Somebody contacted me and I was like, well, actually... I'll be in Florida in August, so if you want to um, have a party. So um, so I'm not the perfect person to ask for that because I am kind of an outside the box, like traveling paint parties. If there's enough people or if I'm in the area anyway, I'll do it. So, um, so I'm a little bit different on that, but most people would probably do like a 30 to 60 mile radius. But I'll put in a great podcast. If I have a two hour drive and there's 30 people coming and I'm going to make $900 that night, like I'll put in a podcast and drive. So I usually just cover that expense. I'm not going to go drive two hours for 10 people though. So you do have to kind of see what is it worth and make sure you're still making a, a profit. Okay. Allison says, let me see here. Oh, we're at 24 questions. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm doing it and my face hasn't fallen off yet. Okay, we got this, right? We got this. Are y'all hanging in there? Let me know in the comments. Are you still are you still in there? <laughs> okay, I know this is a lot. <laughs> okay, oh, you said floor, you're towards Tampa. I'm actually going to be in Destin at a party. That's so cool. Okay, um, Allison says, um, I have had paint parties that were big success, but lately I'm not getting as many attendees. What can I do to ramp this back up? Allison, do not 
feel bad about that. Okay. I've been doing this for over 17 years. Sometimes I feel like a rock star and I have a party of a hundred. Sometimes I have a party that cancels. So don't worry. That is part of this business. You're going to have kind of the ups and downs. We are gearing up for fall though. Fall is go season. So really it's about getting back out there, being consistent, offering some of the, the on-trend paintings like this pumpkin that's been getting a ton of parties and the, the fall church has been getting a ton of parties. So, um, so really just being consistent, Allison, and just taking a deep breath, going back out there, sending the magic script, starting again. I do that anytime I don't have parties and I need one. Lori says, what's the time to do a, do a painting usually? I like 6.30 to 6, 6, 6.30 and 7. Sometimes usually allow for two to two and a half hours. Lisa says, do you need a DBA to set up before your first party? And Lisa, again, you can, but honestly, just do a practice party. Do a practice party first and then move forward after that. And Robert, do you charge less for a smaller canvas paintings? Um, a lot of times I a lot of times I'll charge the same price. So if it's a women's um, group, I'll charge 35, even if it's like a 16 by or I'm sorry, like a 12 by 16 or 11 by 17. And um, just because it's taking the same amount of time. But if you're doing like a kid's party, I might charge less. Um, but you could do 30 um, if you wanted to or depending on your area. OK, Marcy says, how did you get past the negative attitude? I am my worst enemy. Marcy. Okay. So first off, you've made the first step. You have admitted it <laughs> because when Bobby called me out on that, I was like, no, I'm not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain about the cash option for winning the lottery. Really? No, no, that's not me. And then I started realizing every time I talked, it was something negative. And so I'm um, really just, um, Honestly, just being consistent with noticing when you're talking negative to yourself and noticing when you're talking negative to others and then choosing to change that. And I'm telling you right now, Marcy, it did not happen overnight. OK, me going from negative to a positive person did not happen overnight. It took me and still sometimes I'll go back into that. and I'm like, oh, who am I being like? I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that person. And I start, you know, retraining my thoughts, reading Proverbs. Oh, my gosh. Reading Proverbs will help you a lot. And um, let's see. Anna Macy says, I'm scared all in with the, the yearly subscription. Oh, my gosh, Anna. It's OK to be scared. You're taking a big step. It's OK to be scared because you're I mean, you should be scared. We call it nervited, like you're nervous, but you're excited, like you're scared, all of that. Right. So. Make sure that you just hang in there. It's going to be okay. It's okay to do stuff like that. And we're down to 17 questions. Okay, I can do this. Linda says, how do I keep my personal and business supplies separate for taxes? I highly recommend having a bank account with your card attached to your business account. That is the easiest way. Victoria says, is 40 too much per person? Does everyone do 35? And um, it depends on your area, Victoria. 35 for Canvas for me is a very great price. I am making a very great profit and it's a good price for my customers. However, depending on your area, 40 may be a perfect price. Gilda asked, do you provide alternate colors for a class or do you only take the colors on the sample painting? And that's up to you, but I always bring extra because I want people to go crazy. Just like in, you know, for the pumpkins, I was like, paint them purple, paint them pink. Like I love doing that because then it looks great for marketing. When you post those pictures to do your thank you, it looks great. Elsie asked, how much do we charge <clears throat> for... Online parties, given that the customer gets the materials and we only lead the class. So that depends. OK, so I have some corporate parties I do online. And honestly, I just charge them by the class. So I charge a bulk three hundred and fifty dollars for the one hour class. And then I teach them. I send them the supply list. So I have one coming up actually in October and I'll send them the supply list, the step-by-step -step instructions that are already done. And then that um, company pays me $350 for that one class. Now that's not the norm. Sometimes I'll do an online class. If you've built up a following, you can charge 10, $20 a class, something like that. And, um, but it just depends. Emily says, I just joined. Yay. And, and I saw in the PPA 
group something about shared paintings from other members. Can you explain that real quick? Yes, Emily, I had no idea this was going to happen either. Um, but, you know, as we're over five years in and some of the PPHQ members just wanted to share some of the designs that they made. So um, we, we had so many requests from PPHQ members saying, hey, I made this rooster and I'd like to share it that we decided saying, OK, if you want to share a design that's not copyright that you actually came up with, you can put hashtag share and we'll put that in our albums for people to use in their paint party. So there's a whole slew of paintings that members just said, hey, I just want to be kind and share. So it's pretty awesome how much people support each other. And um, do you paint on participants paintings? Carol asked. With their permission, yes, I will. <laughs> With their permission. Nancy says, how many months ahead do you do certain paintings? Like, like what month would you do Halloween versus the Christmas one? So in the summertime, we're booking our fall paintings. In the fall, we're booking our Christmas paintings. In Christmas time, we're booking our Valentines. So we're always a couple of months ahead. Deborah, how does the QC code thing work? The QR code. So QR codes is um, you can grab it on Canva. So let's say you have um, you want somebody to um, send you payment. You can make a QR code with your your payment processing. And we have several. Oh, we're down to eight questions. Look at us go. Rapid fire is working. Are you hanging in there? Let me know. <laughs> um, so you can put it on there so that people can put it on their phone. Kind of like um, for a menu. If you need to look at a menu, you put it on the phone and then it'll send it directly to your payment. And you can do that in Canva. And we teach you how to do that as well. Tracy says, how do you suggest starting with children? What age groups? I recommend 5 to 14 for the kids' parties, okay? So around 5 years old to 14. If you go any younger, then you're going to need parents there to help. Laura says, do we edit in Canva or with what program? Yes, yeah, so um, Laura, you will have a free account with Canva because all of our templates, they're editable. So you don't have to pay for Canva. You just click on our editable ones and then you'll have a free one. Tara says, so do we use Paint Pretty Headquarters as our advertising or our own name? For example, like with Avon Mary Kay Pampered Chef. Okay, you use your own name, okay? This is not like Mary Kay or Avon or Pampered Chef. This is not an MLM. An MLM is called multi-level marketing. You are not buying into Texas Art and Soul, right? Like I don't own your company. You're just purchasing rights to use my designs. You're purchasing rights for my trainings to learn how to do this. So you are using your own company name, okay? You're paying rights to use my designs to make money. So no, you don't use Paint Party Headquarters. Actually, all of our marketing does not, we don't have Texas Art and Soul or Paint Party Headquarters on here anywhere because we want you to come across as the professional for your area. And Nancy says, totally joining tonight after all this awesome information. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I love that. Um, and then let's see, Rhonda, I think this is the last question. And Nancy, welcome, by the way. And Rhonda says, how do you make a name? Okay, so Rhonda, great. Okay, that's our last question. Um, and then I'll just recap real quick what Paint Pretty Headquarters is. But um, she asked, how do you make a name? We actually have a training inside Paint Party Headquarters that walks you through exactly how to make a name for your paint party business. Oh, my voice is going out. <laughs> I think I officially talked my face off. Okay, so we have so many of you joining. I just want to say, first off, thank you for trusting me. Thank you for trusting our team. I am so excited for your paint party adventure. I am so excited to see what you do with this. And just know that we have this coming to you as you join. Then we also have this coming to your email. So when you join, check your email ASAP because you're going to have copy of this that you can download right away. And then I want you to pinky promise that you're not going to go into paint party headquarters and try to read and listen to every single thing as fast as possible because you will get overwhelmed, you will freak out, you will want to go in a corner and roll up in a ball. <laughs> Remember, you're, you're learning something and it takes time. So just, hey, I'm going to commit to 30 minutes of listening to this. I'm going to go on a walk and listen to Heidi teach me about this. I'm going to, you know, paint this painting. I'm going to send out my script because you're not going to make any progress faster than if you send out the script book a party and actually do the party. You're going to be like, 
bring it on. I got this. And I cannot wait to help you more. So I just want to say thank you so, so much for trusting us. And I cannot wait to help you more. Let's go get them. I'll see y'all soon. I only was doing Canvas. That's all I thought. Canvas. Then got in a PPHP. I'm like, oh my gosh, wood? Oh my goodness. Ceramics and just being putting myself out there because at first I was nervous. Like, I don't know if my, you know, clients will want this. And they did. They're like, something new. So not being afraid, you know, to try things um, out to do different things. So now I'm doing, I do something different all the time. I have karaoke and paint, couples painting with a live new model. I Awesome. Because, <laughs> You're going I, all out. <laughs> Julie's like, hmm. <laughs> yes, it's called the ooh la la paint experience. <laughs> ooh, ooh la la. We're going to have to have a whole uh, another special like training just for that. <laughs> Yes, yes. But just not being afraid to try things because at first I was like, oh my gosh, will they, you know, but you know what? Try it. And as all the other ladies just echoing, you know, do things while being afraid. And I feel like I started out, you know, not knowing anything. You know, I never taught a paint party. I never had, um, you know, I'd never been to a paint party. <laughs> so, um, you know, I had all these, um, I had a lot of anxiety, um, but with all the wisdom in this group, um, ask questions, get out there on, on the forum and in the group and ask questions if you have a question because they're gonna answer it for you. They have so much experience um, with everything and at whatever level you're at. And I would still consider myself a beginner um, because I was with Heidi for over two years, but I wasn't doing anything. Um, so. I want you to get started. That's what I would say. I wish I would have got started right away because once you teach that first party, like Julie said, it's like, you, it, it'll blow you away, you're hooked, you know? Um, and know, know why you're doing it, know your why and the reason why that you want to do it. So know if you're gonna teach virtual parties, you're gonna concentrate on virtual parties. If you wanna teach prank parties, then study your butt off you know, ask the people that have been teaching 10,000 paint parties some questions. Get yourself involved in a, an accountability group. But know that we're, we all start somewhere. And I started with nothing. I started with zero audience. And now I have an email list and I have venues and I have, I am making money for my family. And um, yeah, I the first monthly payment that I made to PPHQ, I struggled to pay. Um, and now I feel like, I don't know how to explain this, but they're paying me. <laughs> I feel like PPHQ is, has given me so much knowledge and things. It's the value in the group is more than what you're paying on a monthly level anywhere. You're getting so much more than you can imagine. In a moment, I just took a step back and there's 16 women in this room and some of them are laughing and having the best time with their friend. Some other ladies are singing, you know, beautifully to worship and praise music. And then I look in the back and there's two ladies with tears coming down their eyes, raising their hands. And I'm just the crazy lady that brought the art supplies and the music, but that's what I get to bring. And that's the value that you bring, whether it's women in recovery or a good time at a winery, you know, with um, some, you know, ladies night, or if it's a date night. Um, if you ever, ever wonder, would anybody want to paint with me? I can tell you before that thought even is in your brain. Yes. What you're going to bring to this world is a value. And if you question that, think of what if Heidi let her nerves not open this beautiful paint party headquarters experience. You don't, don't world rob the world of the blessing of you. And I know that that sounds kind of cheesy, but you do this once, twice, 500 times, a thousand times, 5,000 times. And you will know that, you know, as creative people, we can be a little quirky. <laughs> you know, but I love to say that I can't not share my love of art, just like I can't not have freckles on my face. And I have a whole bunch of them, you know? Um, and when you step into that space, guys, the, your life will be more colorful and beautiful than you can even imagine.